Hey guys, what's up? Well, first of all, apologies for not making a lot of videos. I just wanted to let you know and all of my subscribers know that I finally have a baby. So I actually was blessed with a baby boy on the 21st of September, which is why I have been busy here and there and unable to make videos. So just wanted to get um, that to obviously all of my subscribers and I'm hopefully gonna resume making videos more regularly. Today, the thing that I wanna talk about, which was an impetus to actually create this video in, in, to begin with was Figma has officially announced find and replace and it's extremely awesome. And the way that they've done it, they don't have it really basic where you can just search for text and replace it. Rather, they have a lot of advanced functionality behind it as well. And we're gonna talk about it today. So the first thing is, subscribe and hit the bell icon and let me know what you think in the comments and do hit the thumbs up if you like the video okay so you can find the find and replace just by using command f or you can just go ahead and actually click on the search button that's right beside the layers text obviously it's going to be control f on windows probably so yeah you can probably manage that so as an example if i wanted to let's say search for something i wanted to search for let's say a button i can do that i can easily search for a button but what's really interesting about this whole thing is i can either find or i can replace so as an example I can find and replace across a lot of different things. So as you can see, I can find, I can replace, and I can find them. I can search, for example, the whole file. So I can search the whole file for any particular text, and that's gonna return me that uh, text in the sidebar, whether that's a simple text, whether that's a layer, uh, whether that's a frame component, instance, image, shape, so on and so forth. So that's extremely amazing. As an example, um, I have buttons used in a lot of different places in this file. This is our cre creating a design system file, which obviously we've been working on together. Um, I'm gonna press Command F and I'm gonna search for a button and let's see what happens. So right off the bat, you can see I have some text results here. So I have some text results here. Um, actually, let me just change. I'm not sure if I can actually change it. Maybe they've messed up the theming somehow, but I'm just gonna read it to you. So just trust me on it. The first thing that I see here is they're showing me the pages. So they're showing me, hey, you have two pages. You have a page number called buttons and you have a page called checkboxes and radios. So you have these two pages. So it's gonna return your pages first and after that, I don't even see what it's written. <laughs> it's, I think, yeah, things we will cover. So it's, this is particularly within the text. So first of all, it's gonna return pages, then it's gonna return some text uh, results and you can just click on them to actually jump to them, which is amazing. And then you're gonna have, um, again, everything combined pretty much what, what I can see. So now you, you're gonna notice frames. So this is a frame called buttons. Then you have the text which says buttons within this frame as you can see. We have some other buttons here organized and again like these are just cover photos. Don't mind that but as you can see we have all of these really powerful things directly here within Figma. And it's amazing like previously people used to use a lot of plugins to achieve this functionality they used to search for it sometimes it used to search in the single page not the whole file but not only now can you actually search for something you can search for a component a frame anything that you want to replace which is amazing okay so as an example we're talking about let's say i want to replace this foundation so the foundation that i have written here I can actually just easily replace it. I'm just gonna first of all, just close the uh, find thing. The fact is that I, since I actually use components so much, I can actually just go to one single place and replace it. So I can do that since this is an instance. But if I wanted to, I can also replace it manually just using find and replace. Imagine instead of the foundations or instead of this particular text, let's just replace this. Instead of the subtitle that we have here, we're gonna change that to something else. So I'm gonna search for it. So as you can see, this returns it here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say, I wanna find, I've already find, found this. I wanna now replace it. I wanna replace it with, this is a subtitle. And if I do that, I can replace it one by one. So I can click on replace, that's gonna replace it. So done, again. Unfortunately, that was the only place in which it was available. So it only replaced it there. Um, but let's find something that maybe is available or accessible in a lot of different places. So let's talk about foundation. So if you're searching for a foundation, 
And I'm just gonna press this these arrow keys to actually search for the next results. And again, as you can see, the previous result and the next result can be achieved by just pressing Command Shift F. So this is the next result. This is the next result. This is the next. This is the next. If you want to go back, it's Command Shift D. So again, really, really easy. I can now replace all of that. I can say foundation just make it capital and I can see replace all so it's going to be replaced as you can see on all of the pages and I'm just again toggling through these results even going back on the other ones and I can obviously revert this action and go back to it so again extremely powerful stuff that I wanted to talk about uh, some other things that obviously you can do with this particular functionality is Imagine sometimes usually what happens is you have a particular component or an instance that's being used which you actually want to change um, to something else. So maybe you have a button that you have been using previously but now you want to update it to something else. So this, would, this particular thing would really help you to actually find that. So you can again press Command F, you can search for a button. I'm going to search for a button here. First of all, obviously one thing that you have to note is it actually preserves the state that you were previously in. So since I was previously in the replace state, it kept the string that I was replacing and it also kept this particular checkbox. So I'm just gonna go back to find and I'm gonna search for a button. So let's search for a button and I'm gonna say, I only return me an instance. And it's even showing me the amount of results that I have. So the text that I have are 185, all of the all of the results combined are 185. The text is 89, frame is two, component is four, and instances are 88. Now I can see all of these buttons, but I don't really want the base button, right? That's not something that I want. I only want the button. So I can say I want to match the case. If I match the case, obviously it's still going to match it because I have the button here, but I can just make it capital because that's what I used for this button here. If I actually try to find out, find it out now, as you can see, there are no instances of the button in the whole pages. So if I actually just drag this out, as you can see, I've dragged this out and I'm going to press enter again. Nothing happens. Why? We'll just find it out. The reason why nothing happens is now, as you can see, the reason why it didn't happen is because it's not live. So I went back, I came back again. So now it can obviously recognize that button. So obviously it's not live immediately. I was also confused, scared, but it's just not live. So the fact is now you can find your instances quite easily. If you want to replace them with something else, you can obviously go on the right and just replace it with or swap the instances, do whatever. But it's really easy to actually find your components and buttons. So that's pretty much it again it's extremely powerful obviously you guys can imagine the power that's here um, and i'm pretty sure you're going to use it to speed your workflow a bit and reduce the plugins that you actually have to use to use such a basic feature so that's going to be pretty much it do subscribe to hit the bell icon if you have any questions about this definitely let me know i'm super excited to check it out myself i haven't completely played with it but that's pretty much it i'll see you later bye